Hey everybody, it's Pam. Just wanted to drop in and say uh, hi. I am having some of the most incredible phone and Zoom calls with people. Uh, I know I mentioned one yesterday and I had another great one today with an entrepreneur who's just so frustrated with how ill-served uh, new entrepreneurs in particular are on the internet today because of so much junk that's sitting out there. And I had a fantastic talk with him. He, he's focusing on the social media marketing piece, but really recognizes the need for so many things to get linked together, you know, finance, sales and marketing, operations. And so we were just chatting about that a little bit. And, and one of the things he, he talked about that I really, really liked, and, and it resonated with me, and it made me think that for finance and accounting, people who are struggling with finance and accounting, it's really the same thing that I struggled with with social media and marketing when I jumped out into the world here. And it was just a mob scene of options on what to do and how to get my message out. And some of you have heard in my messages, I'm going to make finance fun for at least 10,000 people and entrepreneurs in the next year. And uh, I needed a platform to build that mission, so I worked hard to find all the places to go and things I needed to learn to put that together. And what I found was that I got shiny object syndrome. I'm guessing a few of you may have been through the same thing. So I tried a little bit of everything and anything that cost, crossed my line of sight on a Facebook feed or LinkedIn or email, I'm like, well, I gotta try it. They tell me it's gonna work. Knowing full well, it probably didn't hold the full promise solution. But what I found after tapping into a few folks who really seem to wanna make a difference is that there really are people out there who understand that just teaching somebody a tiny little piece of something isn't gonna serve them. And that's the way I really feel about getting financial information out to entrepreneurs and startups. What I've, I've discovered, what I believe, I guess what I believe, is that the same level of financial expertise that's available to Fortune 500 companies is deserved by smaller companies. And the thing, the little twist I want to add to that in bringing that service to smaller businesses, which I'm doing today and loving, is the twist I'm going to add to that is it can and should be fun for the business owner. The business owner's job is not to learn how to make the sausage. You don't need to know how to make the sausage you need to explain to somebody about how you see your business and what you need to know and when you need to know it and then somebody needs to take that and make it happen and you often have those people in place already the bookkeeper and the accountant but really are starting from a place of not even knowing what to ask and have probably gotten that process set up so that your bookkeeper can and this is a good thing but get the information that's needed to the tax accountant always very important to get the taxes filed but in the meantime you haven't had anybody there to really tell you hey guess what there's a ton of information in what your bookkeeper's doing that if we just talk to him or her for five or ten minutes and really explain things a little bit about how you see your business you can start to take information out of that and the key with this and this is why the guy I was talking to today really um, really hit home on something he said, I can have all the reports in the world with numbers all over them. That's a ton of data and really means nothing to me because, number one, it's about the past. And what I'm here to say is that all of that stuff that your bookkeeper is doing anyway in, say, QuickBooks or Excel, it's really easy to take that information and now think about your business and start to look forward instead of backwards. History is important, but we can use it to help us forecast the future. And that's really what you're all about, right? How much cash do I need? How much cash will I spend? How much cash will I have in the bank at the end of the week or the month? That's what we're all kind of wrestling with day in and day out. And that's the piece that can be fun is when you really with confidence can say, I'm going to add a person, increase my sales, and uh, increase my Facebook spend. And we just drop those into a little spreadsheet and all of a sudden, looking down the road, uh, weeks or months, you can say, oh, wow, if I do that, I'm going to need some extra cash six weeks from now, but boy, I'm going to be loaded 12 weeks from now. And that's when finance can be fun. And that's my mission is to get that kind of information into people's hands like yours so that 
very quickly we get to this 10,000 entrepreneur point, which I'll tell you is just an intermediate goal. But I really do intend to get 10,000 entrepreneurs in the next 12 months to echo with me that finance is fun and start getting the message out there. Somebody's got to. I love it. Yes, I'm a bit of a geek. But the fact that I'm a bit of a geek and I get it and I spent 25 years in industry and I've done accounting and finance in the Fortune 500 group and I can still have a sense of humor about it, love it and want to bring it to you as entrepreneurs and small business owners in a way that doesn't burden you or lay down a ton of bureaucracy, but adapts it to your business. And then you can have that finance pillar that we all know we need in our businesses. There's no denying if you are a business and not a hobby, we all need that pillar. But I tend to show you, intend to show you that that pillar can be fun. So hang on for the ride with me. I want to let you know I've got a podcast that's going to be all about this and how to do it that's going to launch on September 12th. If you're interested, PM me, uh, put a comment on this, hit me with a like and put a comment on this here, and I am so glad to get in touch with you about how to get a hold of that podcast. And hopefully you can be one of the 10,000 entrepreneurs that a year from now is saying, well, you won't have to wait a year. If you get caught up with my podcast now, you can say in the next month or two, finance is fun, and I get it. really want to add you to that list of of 10,000, because I think we can then go about changing the world together. So that's what I'm up to. Happy day. It's a beautiful, sunny day here in Philadelphia. I'm actually inside my studio today, but uh, wanted to reach out after that fantastic conversation with my friend Dale today. Hope you all are having a great week. And I will be back with more tips later. For today, though, the big, big, big tip is finance can be fun. Start to think about telling your bookkeeper you want the information that he or she is keeping to make sense to you. Start explaining to your bookkeeper how you see your business. Excuse me there. It'll make a whole difference, a whole bunch of difference in how uh, you start to perceive finance and accounting. Once you make, we make sure that your bookkeepers are keeping things in a way that will uh, make sense to you. So right now I'm streaming this on my personal page, but please, 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 please jump over to my Pam Pryor page, which is a, a page, not a group, not a personal page, but an actual page. And we're going to be covering all of this information over there going forward. We're only going to be on this uh, Pam, Pam Pryor personal page here for a little while longer before I migrate this over. So please, please go over to that Pam Pryor page if this holds any interest to you. And we'll keep you informed on podcasts, on the book, on courses, on interviews, and on anything we can do to get the word out that finance can be fun. Great chatting with you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.